today's regional EST forum in Asia, plans to draw up Aichi Declaration, which envisions to make transport in Asia sustainable by 2030. I do hope that all of you participating in this forum would support this idea of Aichi Declaration. I hope that Aichi Declaration will work as a catalyst to decarbonize transportation sector to a new phase in Asia, which is the growth center of the world, and also to open up a new age where Asian countries lead the global climate change actions. That the successful implementation of the 2030 Archai Declaration lies in the mutual cooperation, bilateral and multilateral donor organization, the EST member countries have individual key role to play in the successful implementation of 2030 IHI declaration. The new EST declaration 2030 will act both as a pathway and framework for transformational change in the transport sector of Bangladesh. Let me reiterate the significance we place on regional cooperation and development. And for this, it is my honor to convey our support to the H 2030 declaration and making uh, transport in Asia sustainable. I'm confident that together we will be able to bring a major shift in the transport sector by creating a safe and environmentally sustainable transport system. मैं इस एशियाई क्षेत्र के ईएसटी फोरम से आशा करता हूं यह मंच सड़क निर्माण को और अधिक ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी की दिशा में विचार विमर्श करेगा और आपसी सहयोग से ऐसा समाधान निकलेगा जो सभी देशों के लिए उपयोगी हो तथा सड़क परिवहन के विकास को भविष्य में पर्यावरण के अनुकूल बना सके मलेशिया welcomes the team Next Generation Transport Systems for Achieving SDGs and Carbon Neutrality for a Safer, Affordable, Accessible and Resilient Asia. And the new 2030 IHE Declaration that will act as both catalyst and framework for transformational change in transport sector in Asia. This is a very important policy area for the Maldives. We are a nation of over a thousand islands. 99% of our country is the ocean. Our survival depends on the fragility of these coral islands. Connectivity is critical for us to enhance our development, providing reliable, affordable and sustainable transport network is key priority area for our government. In view of this, rest assured that we shall continue to develop and implement sustainable transport policies and programs, as well as projects, to help realize our common vision of having sustainable transport embodied in the environment and economic sustainability, road safety, and rural, urban, and national access and connectivity. We are after achieving a sustainable transport system that is equitable across all income groups, genders and abilities to ensure that no Filipino shall be left behind. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the AG declaration which is planned to be adopted at this forum, as well as further work on making transport in Asia sustainable. In our opinion, the declaration is a comprehensive document outlining the main challenges of environmental friendliness and efficiency of transport services facing by the region now. Sri Lanka is committed to initiate actions on the strategies of the EST declaration. Okay. However, we face challenges such as attractive investments, institutional 
technical capacity in urban planning, policy, formulation and integrating transport and environment, communicating the benefits to the general public and influencing their choices on sustainable transport systems are key challenges too. As Thailand is implementing towards sustainable transport, all the actions are also very much in line with the draft 2030 IT declaration, which would be considered and adopted in this EST 14 forum. Diễn đàn Liên Chính phủ về giao thông vận tải bền vững với môi trường khu vực châu Á do Trung tâm Phát triển vùng của Liên Hợp Quốc và Chính phủ Nhật Bản khởi xướng là một diễn đàn quan trọng tạo mối liên kết chặt chẽ giữa các quốc gia, các tổ chức quốc tế và các chuyên gia trong nỗ lực thúc đẩy giao thông vận tải bền vững với môi trường tại châu Á, góp phần quan trọng trong việc thực hiện các mục tiêu phát triển bền vững của Liên Hợp Quốc.